Hi everyone, I'm Phil from Tech for Tech. Today we're going to be looking at this from Edifier. It's the TWS1, and what it is, it's basically a wireless Bluetooth earphones which you can stick in your ears and listen to, obviously, devices wirelessly via Bluetooth. They have a recommended retail price of £32.99. We do have links in the description. Okay, a little bit of quick information about these. So they have a 32 hour battery life, eight hours of that is the playback through the earphones and then the actual charge case has another 24 hours worth of battery in them. Uh, it's got stereo plus, which basically means a stereo uh, and it's got a range of roughly 10 meters from the device you're playing from. The true wireless basically is supposed to make it easy for pairing and better connectivity. It's got IPX5 splash and waterproof. It's got Bluetooth 5 for a strong connection, lower latency, as we said up to 10 meters, low profile, ergonomic in ear design with touch controls and CVC noise reduction for crystal clear calling. And it comes in two colors. This one, which is white as well as black. Um, the recommended retail price, as we said, is £32.99. Uh, in dollars, that's about $50. So let's have a quick look at the box. So it says Edify, you've got the earbuds there. It says Bluetooth, it says TWS1, and it says True Wireless Stereo, blah, blah, blah. There, information on the side. So it tells you about the Bluetooth 5, the... Uh, battery and everything I've already mentioned as well as waterproof and all that and it's got even more information on the back Which is really small writing so you near enough need a magnifying glass to read it, but it is there um, And that's pretty much it Okay, so this is what's in the box. You've got the cable for charging so you plug down to a PC or a power uh, line and then plug it into the box and it charges the box so Basically, that will charge the box, which then charges the earphones, which is inside, which we'll look at in a few seconds. Uh, you've got some extra bits that will go in your ear, so for different size ears, you've got big and small ones. There's already a set on there already, so you can adjust it to basically how you want. And these are quite soft and squishy, so they should be able to fit perfectly inside your ears. So that's pretty good. You've got a warning bit, so most of that looks like it's in different languages. So I'm guessing it's going to be silly things like don't put them in your mouth and swallow them and stuff like that, but who knows. Um, and then you've got the instruction manual, which is pretty straightforward. I'll just show you what it says, if you can see there. But basically it's telling you on the that you've got skip, backwards, triple tap, skip, forward, double tap, pause single tap and play single tap so that's basically on the end of the earphones you'll be able to tap depending on how many times you tap it depends on what they're doing so this is the box itself you've got the charge point other than that you've got the model number information on the bottom and then otherwise it just opens up so it just flips open just there and then you've got your earbuds so that's pretty good so your earbuds are here, so let's just take them out. So you can see the little charge points inside the box there. So that's where it charges them up. Those little metal contacts. And then you've got the earbuds themselves. As I said, these bits can be taken off here and replaced with one of the different sizes, which we've got there. So if you've got big ears or small ears, you can, you should be able to fit them. There shouldn't be an issue. So let's have a look. So they've got a little bit of styling on the side. It's a bit like a go faster stripes on the side. It says R and L for right and left. Uh, you've got the contacts on the back where it charges and that bit goes in your ear. So it's pretty straightforward and it's got, um, you can double tap. It doesn't seem to be a, a physical button as such. It's going to be more like a sensor and you can actually see it when you're tapping it. It does flash every now and again, the little lights on the end there. I'm going to connect these up to my phone. Bear in mind, I haven't charged these, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so if I go into the Bluetooth settings on here, it is coming up with 
Edifier TWS1. So that's good. So if I will click on that, I'm hoping that will connect up to those. And it says they're connected. So if I find something with a bit of music on, let's have a quick look on YouTube. I'll get one of my own videos up with an intro on before uh, YouTube demonetizes us for playing other people's music. Okay, that's an advert playing. And I can hear them from here. They sound pretty loud, to be honest with you. Not sure if that pick up very well on the camera, but if I move these close to the mic. Some problems. They are USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type C device. You should be able to hear that, hopefully. So those look pretty good. I'm just going to stick them in the ears just to see how they sound. They're very loud. Oh, and there's Linus at Linus Tech Tips with an advert. But sound sounds pretty good, we'll give them some more testing in a bit, but in basics, they seem to do what they're supposed to do, and I'm actually going to take them on a walk in a bit, and see how they hold up uh, against some others what I've tried in the past, for example, some Lenovo ones, which sound pretty good, but they keep losing connection every few minutes, and then connect back up, and so you sort of get this uh, on and off effect all the time. Okay, I'm currently using the microphone built into the earphones of this Edifier TWS1, so you can actually hear what it sounds like. I'm going to continue the rest of the review using a microphone built into my PC, but this just gives you a rough idea of what it sounds like uh, through the actual microphone on the earphones, and this has been recorded directly onto a iPhone X. Okay, I'm back on my PC microphone now. Um, so in basics, they're very comfortable to wear. I didn't have an issue with them falling out of my ears. I went for a roughly an hour and a half walk with them. Didn't have a problem at all. Bear in mind, I've not even charged them up yet. So they're using the battery power what they came with um, when I first got them. And they managed to do an hour and a half, no problem walking. As I said, they were comfortable. Uh, it was easy to hear what was going off. I listened to a couple of podcasts um, as well as audiobook and some music. The bass levels seemed pretty good as well so that was a bonus uh, the microphone not the best but then again it's recording via your ear basically so it's quite a distance away from your mouth and that's as good as I've probably heard coming from earphones in all honesty so the question is, will these replace my Lenovo HT10s, which had a recommended retail price of roughly 50 to £60? Pounds. And the answer to that is, um, yes, they do. I'm very, very happy with them. They sound brilliant. I don't use them a huge amount on the microphone, so that's not too big of an issue. Uh, the only thing I would say against the Lenovo is the actual box, what you put them in to charge up. With the Edifier, it's just one little tall light on the front, so you can sort of see when it's charged or not, uh, compared to the Lenovo, which has multiple lights on the front, so you can see how, what percentage it's charged. <laughs> 